वेलकम टू द टॉक अबाउट एडवांसिंग ह्यूमन सेंटर्ड एजुकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी रिकमेंडेशंस ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशन सेक्रेटरी जनरल्स हाई लेवल पैनल ऑन द टीचिंग प्रोफेशन पब्लिश्ड इन 2024 वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट टेक्नोलॉजी इन एजुकेशन autonomous users of technology policies for use of technology technology in the classroom part a technology in education technology is a transformative force in education uh, actually it is uh, uh, technology is transforming education to a to a new type of more uh, flexible uh, education number 2 the digital revolution and uh, artificial intelligence must be pedagogically harnessed by teachers and integrated through active and human centered teaching and learning methods and practices so there is a need to actually use digital revolution and artificial intelligence in pedagogy and it should be integrated with the teachers uh, to to make to make uh, uh, teaching human uh, uh, centered and uh, learning methods and practices number 3 Uh, technological tools should not become a substitute for teachers but rather should empower teachers to guide their learners to quest for inquisitive critical creative and lifelong learning so technology is not actually substituting the teachers but it is helping uh, to make students more inquisitive asking questions taking interest critical in their thinking creative in their thoughts and actions and lifelong learners uh, b part is autonomous users of technology teacher training and practice should ensure that teachers and learners can be both creators and autonomous users of technology but not just passive consumers so teacher training and practice actually should help to make teachers and learners creating the uses of technology and independent users of technology not just consumers of technology c is policies for use of technology government should develop policies through social dialogue around the use of education technology so government should make dialogues with the uh, teachers and uh, students to develop uh, new technology for use in education such policies should ensure sustainable and equitable procurement and deployment of technology so such policies will help how the technology will be actually uh, procured or should be purchased and deployed at different places so that students may have access and uh, may use that very technology for the educational purposes autonomy with respect to content of course uh, they the content uh, the students want to learn may learn at their own pace at the time of their convenience and the involvement of teaching profession and student organizations in design piloting and evaluation of artificial intelligence use of course the teaching profession and students will be will be uh, cooperating coordinating for actually designing the use of technology pilot piloting the use of technology piloting means first they use the technology on a smaller scale and uh, then go for a a bigger scale and uh, and and in evaluation of artificial intelligence of course both student and teachers will be involved in the policies and practice also 
and uh, considered for use in education of course uh, uh, all such technology which uh, uh, is considered for being used in education department will be will be developed with in consultation with teachers and students of course government will be doing it uh, point three is the development of such tools should be informed by pedagogical practices, curricula and context considerations. So all this technology is actually the support uh, uh, methods of teaching or pedagogical practices, uh, the content which going to which uh, we, we are going to teach and the context in which uh, a teaching learning process uh, will be materialized and should respond to the needs of the teachers and students of course technology should be as per needs of the teachers and students at no point should technology replace the human relationship with the teacher so a teacher student interaction must be there uh, irrespective of the the technology we use in the teaching learning process d part technology in the classroom technology in the classroom can change the the teaching process towards supported learning and can facilitate lifelong learning so uh, if we bring technology in the classroom that can support learning and uh, the the learning supported by technology may take place outside the classroom in the form of lifelong learning point 2 is Technological uh, learning practices should be supplemented by special intention to developing social and emotional skills of the learners. As you know that technology uh, makes a person uh, uh, somewhat, uh, some, uh, somewhat confined to the instrument. So for, uh, for development of social skills and emotional skills of learners, the human to human interaction, the interaction of teacher and student is very essential we talked about uh, technology in uh, education autonomous users of technology policies for use of technology and technology in the classroom thank you very much see you in the next talk